back stays and the topping lift, which looks like it's definitely seen better days. I imagine that's original equipment, so I'll have to cut through all that crap and see what lays beneath. In the meantime, we will... further ponder getting our mast down. for the most part off. I have to loosen off the shrouds on the either side port and starboard and then uh, we'll see if the mast will go down. There's basically nothing holding it up anymore. I'll give you a little... No back stay, no running stays. Up the top of the yard arm of the mast crane you can see I've got the one of the halyards hooked up to the mast crane so that uh, I can loosen it and the mast should just slowly go forward. I've got the uh, four stay still hooked up, but I don't think that'll cause any uh, issues because the mast will be going forward, which will loosen the four stay. I can take it off once the uh, mast is horizontal. You can see the radar deflector right there. That's what's left of the back stay. Um, the SSB antenna connection was corroded into place, so I actually had to cut the antenna cable, but it's not a big deal. It doesn't look like a uh, um, problem to fix. Um, 12.30, which means it's launch time. And all good pirates need to fortify themselves with some calories, so I'm going to uh, let you go get your lunch, and I'll get my lunch. Lunch has been successfully consumed, so we continue with the dismasting project. What we do now is loosen off the shrouds and uh, see what the mast does. Okay, so we've got all the shrouds You can see, they're just hanging in the breeze. Chester has come around, give me a hand. I think Chester can man the, uh, man the crane, and I will uh, guide the thing down. So, I think we're set.
so we have the mast down. I'm not entirely happy with the way things have uh, uh, panned out. Roller furling stay. It's got a big, big bend in it. And uh, from what I've read, that's a big, big no-no. The uh, mast is resting on the bowsprit, which is okay. That's what I expected. But it has a ton of cabling going up. Uh, I was kind of hoping there would be some connectors or something. But, uh, it doesn't appear to be. So I'm either going to have to. I'll either have to go inside and figure out how to uh, separate the cables from inside, or I'm going to have to cut them here, which I don't want to do because reconnecting them would be an absolute nightmare. Um, there must be connectors inside, so that's probably the route that I'll take. Chester's going to come back in a little while. Um, he wants to help me move the mast. I intend to use the mast crane again. There's the cable sitting right there. Um, like a, I guess a, a sling, I guess, right where the um, spreaders are, and lift it up. And then I w I'd like to put it down on the on the pavement where I can easily work on it. Um, but I think for now we'll probably just leave it on the deck. And. Uh, figure out how to take that pin out if I can. In the meantime, we carry on. seem to have come to a, uh, an impasse. The mast is down and I've tidied up a lot of the running rigging and uh, organized the standing rigging so that it's not just hanging off all over the place. It does look a bit of a mess down there. You see? There's bound to be something inside so I took myself inside. And this is what I found. This is where the uh, cabling for the mast comes down. That heavy one is the antenna, RG8 or 9 I guess. And the lighter stuff is for the lights, masthead light and so on. And it runs underneath this guy and disappears in there. Now, how do we get in there? Once we do get in there, where does it go? I do not know. Tonight, it's very hot out and I'm tired. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon, so I'm gonna go home and enjoy one of God's finer creations, a beer, and uh, think about what to do about the uh, <laughs> Just cut it and uh, rewire it as, when I get the new standing rigging and put that up. Um, probably the fastest most reasonable. At least then I know where cabling goes. It's not a mystery. You just haul the old crap out and put new stuff in and do it right. Uh, so uh, that's it for today.